Good day to all TVET lecturers. I am Gyan Krishna from Macmillan. In this video, I will explain the updates to the N6 Building and Structural Surveying Syllabus. The revised BSS N6 curriculum was implemented in the third trimester of 2023. Lecturers and students need the latest textbooks. We recommend TVET First excellent BSS N6 Students Book and Lecturer's Guide which have been approved by the DHET. The logo, Revised Curriculum 2023, tells you that this book covers the 2023 curriculum in full. I will demonstrate later how the TVET First textbooks will help you to implement the Revised Curriculum with ease. But now, let's focus on the curriculum itself. The new BSS curriculum gives students a thorough foundation in the theory, practice, and methods used in the building and structural surveying field. It aims to build competencies in surveying and building construction. The curriculum changes range from moderate to substantial. The syllabus has been updated and the modules have been organized more logically. The learning content and learning outcomes are completely reworded and provide much more detail for all sections. The revised curriculum no longer has Module 4 on plotting, but has inserted parts of that content into Module 2 on traversing. There is a new Module 3 on tachyometry, which covers content that was previously taught in N5. The remaining modules have therefore been renumbered. Module 3 defines tachyometry and explains its purpose, advantages, and principles of operation. It also describes two kinds of instruments used in tachyometry and discusses four related systems of measurement. Students must record readings and calculate distances using the cosine rule. The module also covers a number of tangential and systematic errors that could occur. In Module 1, on angular measurement, the measurement of horizontal and vertical angles is specified in more detail in the form of seven learning outcomes. Module 2 on traversing no longer covers meridians explicitly and mapping media has been added. Module 4 on contouring was covered in Module 3 in the old syllabus. No longer covered in this module are methods of contouring of an area by grid and radial line method and tachyometric readings with tachy and level. However, these techniques are covered in Module 3 with tachyometry. The purpose of contouring is now covered explicitly in the new syllabus. Measuring areas with a planimeter is no longer required. Module 5 on setting out includes the definitions of certain terms which are now required. Finally, Module 6 on road construction has four more learning outcomes. Students have to explain the road construction process and plot various cutting and embankment lines from contours. In the 1981 curriculum, no weighting was given. In the new syllabus, the weighting is given as it appears on the screen, with the final module having the most weight. The TVET First Students Book provides excellent support to students. The language is clear with explanations of new vocabulary both in the text and in a glossary at the back. The Students Book offers a simple, step-by-step -step approach to problem solving. The many diagrams and photographs link the content to real-life situations and make learning fun. 
there are plenty of varied activities to consolidate the students' knowledge and prepare them for the examinations. The summaries at the end of each module will help students to revise and prepare for exams. The summative assessments offer excellent practice and can be used as class tests. The TBED First Lecturer's Guide, which is approved by the DHET, includes detailed answers to all the activities in the student's book. The Lecturer's Guide sets out calculations and diagrams wherever these are needed. Also included is a 10-week teaching plan, an overview of the learning outcomes for each module to help you plan your lessons, as well as a photocopyable lesson plan template. TVET First textbooks are approved by the DHET and trusted by lecturers. For the best results, trust TVET First.